<laughs> the crowd are wild. And do you know why? Because here at our house, things aren't quite what they seem. Come on, have a look at this. <laughs> or what about this? <laughs> now, that's a rather big raspberry. This is a steaming great strawberry. And this is, of course, Finders Keepers. This is the game where you can do all those things that you can't actually do at home because this is our house. Whose house? <laughs> yes, we've got roommates, we've got fantastic prizes, and we've got Jeremy's Junk. <laughs> yeah, now, Jeremy's Junk is a new little game for you to play at home. Jeremy has hidden eight identical junky objects all around the house, and you've just quite simply got to spot them. There's one in each room, and he'll tell you what they were at the end of the show. So, let's meet the visitors. Where are the Yellow Terrors? <laughs> Let's go get them. Come on. Oh, I'm ready for this. I haven't done this for a while. Love it. And here they are. They're yellow, but are they terrible? We will soon find out for the yellows. This week, we've got Ben and we've got Katie. How do I know that? Because it says so on their hearts. Yeah, you've got it. Now, Ben, where's your team from? Stoke-on-Trent. Now, over in Stoke-on-Trent, you live in your house. We live here. It's our house. It's a bit crazy. Is your house crazy in any way? Yeah, I had uh, a saxophone for Christmas, yeah. but my dad says it's too loud, so he's made me practice in the garage. That's a bit unfair, isn't it? You know what you want to do? Stick a pillow over it. Or stick a pillow over your dad, one of the two. <laughs> Katie, what about you? Is your house crazy in any way? Well, I've got an uncle, and he's really tall and really muscly, and I've got a really small dog. And one day he came, and he ran out of the house and locked himself in the car so the dog couldn't get him. Was you scared of a little tiny dog? Yeah, it's now, only a chihuahua. Now, be honest about it. It's a chihuahua! Yeah. Be honest about it. If you brought her here, would we be scared? Yeah. That's what all we need, isn't it? A room-raiding dog. You know what time it is? What time is it? Room-raiding Yes, it is! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Jeremy the Voice, nice to see you again. Have you been, Jeremy? Well, Neil, I feel today a bit like a, a ripe banana surrounded by a giggle of monkeys on a hungry Sunday afternoon. I'm sorry I asked. You know, I think he is going bananas. And don't forget, you keep a lookout at home for Jeremy's junk. It could be anything. There's an object for you hidden in this room. You've got 30 seconds to find it. If you find it, you get 25 points. And I've got your clue. Are you ready for it? Yeah. yeah. OK, here we go. Good luck and enjoy yourselves. This is a man who's made of steel. He can move and speak, but cannot feel. A robot. Yeah, right in the room, you've got 30 seconds. Look absolutely everywhere. Look at her, look at her. Oh, I'm ready for this. Oh, oh, you do, yes! Absolutely brilliant. Stop the clock. Ben, that's absolutely fantastic. I think almost in record time. You were looking for a robot, you were looking for 25 points, and you got them both. Well done indeed. So, where are the green meanies? In the Let's go and check on them. Come on. <laughs> ah, here they are. They're green, but are they mean? Well, we'll find out, won't we, here? We've got Stephen and we've got Sarah. And how do I know that? <laughs> They're good, aren't they? They know, they, they know what's what in this house. Now, Stephen, where's your team from? We're from Yately. Yately? And what about in your house in Yately? Is it crazy in any way? Is there anything, you know? Yeah, whenever my grandparents come round to um, stay, they always go to sleep. And grandparents just... fall asleep? Yeah. Do you all have that problem? Yes! You know what we should do? We should bring all the grandparents here. That'd soon wake them up, wouldn't it, eh? Right, Sarah, what about you? Have you got a crazy house in any way? Yeah, I do. Um, my brother practically lives in the bathroom. What, what's he doing there, then? Well, he just sprays um, deodorant stuff everywhere and it pulls. Oh, he's a bit of a stinker, is he? Yeah. <laughs> All right, then. Well, let's see if you're a bit of a stinker today. Let's see if you can get this object, eh? There's 25 points all for grabs. You ready for your clue? Good luck. No splashing on anything when we're in here. Here's your clue. <laughs> to go to the loo when you wear a tot, instead of the toilet, you'd use this pot. What do you think it is? Potty. No, it's, it's not that. I'll give you the clue again. Look what it says down there. To go to the loo where you were a tot instead of the toilet, you'd use this pot, not the loo. Listen to them. Yes, raise the room. Sarah, I don't, know, I don't know about looking for a potty, Sarah. I think you are a bit potty, you know, to be honest with you. There it is. 
Next time she does find us keepers, we'll have her wearing that on her head instead of a helmet. You got 25 points. Well done. Let's go and check on the yellows downstairs. Come on. There you go. <laughs> Oh, dear me. Now I remember what this show's all about. I don't know. Here we go. You ready for your clue? Yeah. She's potty, that one, tell you. This dairy food, you may have learned, is made from butter that has been churned. Jeez. Yeah, she used to you to your bedroom. <laughs> Look, absolutely everywhere, but watch my strawberry. Now, it could be anywhere. No raiding after we call time, because that means I have to clear it up a little later on. What were you looking for? Cheese. There it is. You can have your cheese, but you can't have your 25 points. They go to the Greens. Let's go and join them in the living room. Come on. <laughs> you just got 25 points for doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> so we can pack in and go home now, or do you want to raid a room? Raid a room. Yeah, we've been waiting for this for a long time, haven't we? OK, let's get stuck in. And don't forget, keep a lookout for Jeremy's junk at home. If there are spellings you don't understand, this book of words will give you a hand. Dixon! Yes! Read yeah, the room! <laughs> really go for it, come on! It could be anywhere! <laughs> could be absolutely anywhere! <laughs> yes, look high, look low! Look down the bend, look up to the corner! Oh, you're getting very warm! Oh! Stop the clock! Stop the clock! Sarah, come round here! That's a potty after all, eh? She got 25 <laughs> points. Uh, let's see what it says for under Sarah in the dictionary. Let's see. Sarah, the potty one in Finders Keepers. Yeah, that figures, <laughs> doesn't it? You got your 25 points. Let's bring on the yellows. Come on, you yellows. So, after the first room raids, we've raided two rooms each. Jeremy, can you please tell us the scores? The yellow team have 25 points, but at the moment, the greens are in the lead with 75 points. Whoa! Potty Sarah's going mad here, they're <laughs> celebrating already. But remember, we know what can happen. From now on, it gets serious, cos the points are doubled. And you have to earn the right to raid a room. How do we do that? We play find and keep. Remember that? Over at the garage doors. Come on. <laughs> yes, it's that time. Time to sort out the Power Rangers from the flower arrangers. Four more rooms up for grabs to decide who's going on the super search to play for our star prize. Take a look here at our garage doors. And there are eight hidden answers behind those numbers. I've got four questions here on my cards. You teams have got to find out where the correct hidden answers are. Each time you get a correct answer, you get to raid a room and, of course, 50 very valuable points. And there's only 50 in it at the moment. We're going to start by playing for the fantasy room, which contains Jeremy's Joker. <laughs> I'm going to start with the yellows, cos you're 50 points behind. Katie, this one's for you. What does a clerk of the court shout? Pick a number. Two. What does the clerk of the court shout? <coughs> Stop, thief! No, he doesn't. Green, Sarah, this one's for you. What does the Queen say when launching a ship? This is for the fantasy room. Pick a number. Five. What does the Queen say? <coughs> Mine the doors? No, she doesn't. Ben, yellows, you try this for the fantasy room. What does a newsreader say when starting a bulletin? Pick a number. Eight. What does a newsreader say? <coughs> oh, haven't you grown? <laughs> no, he doesn't. Green, Stephen, try this. What do... Ah. Now, think about this one. This is for the fantasy room. What do grandmas say when they come to visit? Pick a number. Eight. Are you sure? Yeah. Do you want to change it? No. I can't tempt you. No. Eight it is. What do grandmas say? <laughs> yes! <laughs> you'll be ready in the fantasy room and you'll be taking Jeremy's joker and you've got yourself 50 points. Open question, Yellows. Either of you can answer this. This is for Mum and Dad's bedroom. What does the Queen say when launching a ship? One. Are you sure? Yeah. What does the Queen say? <laughs> yes! says, yes, thank goodness, you've got Mum and Dad's bedroom and you've got those points. How wonderful. Greens, this is for you. What does a newsreader say when starting a bulletin? Think about it. Pick a number. Three. This is for the study. What does a newsreader say? <laughs> Here's the news! 
You're in the study with 50 points. Yellows, one more question to go, one more room to play for. This is the storeroom. What does a clerk of the court shout? Think about it and pick a number. Six. What does the clerk of the court shout? <laughs> Silence in court! <laughs> 50 to you and the storeroom. So, at the end of that game of find and keep, the scores are... The yellows have got two rooms to raid with 125 points, but at the moment, the greens two rooms with 175 points. Whoa! <laughs> so, you yellows, anything can happen. You stay where you are and watch it all happen. Greens, you come with me. Come over here, cos we are going first off to the fantasy room and Jeremy's Joker. Well, I can face anything. I'm ready for Jeremy's Joker. Are you? Definitely. Yep. Definitely. What time is it? <laughs> Let's go and raid some rooms. Come on, let's go. Right. to Radio Land. Coming up, we've got 30 thrilling seconds of Mega Mess Room Remix. And if you manage to find the hidden object within that time, you could be talking on the airwaves too with these terrific walkie-talkies. With built-in telescopic antennae, they are crystal controlled with 1 to 2 km range. So, get ready to rumble. The room will be funkin'. Here to help you today, it's PJ and Duncan! <laughs> Sarah's going. Ah! <laughs> she wants to go home now. She doesn't want to raid, do you, Sarah? <laughs> now you're going to go for some raiding today, fellas. Oh, you're going to really go for it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, listen, listen. Well, welcome to our crazy house here. Now, listen. I have to ask you guys because I asked the team before about your house. You know, is it crazy in any way? Well, I've got the, I've got a pet dog. Yeah. She's crazy. I tell you. Really crazy. Why must she get up to? She's going to come on this show. She rips all my teddies to bits. We get teddies and stuff, and she just rips heads off. That's it. <laughs> we'll book nice, her. We'll book her. What about you? It's, I've never been anywhere as crazy as this place. <laughs> I can tell you. <laughs> There. So if we want to play Finders Keepers, it's all round to your place oh, then. Yeah, right, right. The <laughs> dog's right. invited as well. Brilliant. Oh, well, right. listen, we've got some business to do now. 50 right. points off for grabs and that fantastic prize, so we're going to go for it. Ready for this? Here's our clue. For a roving reporter who's always out, this record's all that he talks about. For a roving reporter, this object for a roving reporter who's always about, this record's oh, all that he talks Mike. about. Mike. Yeah, yeah, oh, put us yeah. go! You're gonna kick yourself. Look at this team. Look at this down here. No, it wasn't the microphone. It was. He's ripped me microphone apart there. Oh. Look, what we were looking for was down here. It was a tape recorder. Oh. Here it is, in here. Look at this, right down at the bottom. Oh. We get there eventually. So 50 points go to the yellows and that fantastic prize. Now listen, fellas. Are you going to clear off or are you going to hang around, have a cup of tea and... Oh, oh we, we would stick about for a bit, yeah, I thought you'd say that. You've always wanted to do family keepers, haven't you? Good to see you. Good to see you. I'll see you in a minute. I've got to see the yellows. You come with me. Come on, let's go. Righty, come on. Listen, you know. All that raiding. I think I need a helmet as well. Come on, let's go. There they are. You got the points. No surprises for you, though. Here we go. If your head is bald and people stare, cover it up with this false hair. Yes. Raid the room. It's absolutely anywhere. Look high, look low. It could be anywhere. It's a very exciting competition moment. The points are all square, so anything could happen. Raid everywhere. You're freezing over there. Absolutely freezing. Wow, come on, keep raiding. It could be anywhere. It could be absolutely anywhere. I've got to sit down on the job here. Look at that. I put me banana in my bed to finish it off later on. Look, you're going to kick yourself. What were you looking for? A wig. What were you looking for? You were looking for a wig. That is a wig. Point to go to the other team. Let's go and join the Greens downstairs. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. 
enjoyed that, didn't you? I, yes, I did, she says. <laughs> right, here we go. The point went to you. You got 50 points. Here we go. To throw some light on a subject, put two batteries in this object. To throw some light on a subject, a put some, two batteries... <laughs> yeah, there's a room! turns around to me and says, are we, are we close, are we hot? It was on the floor, wasn't it? You dropped it. That's what you were looking for, a torch. 50 points goes to the yellow, so it's all square. Let's go and see what they can do in the final room raid. Come on! <laughs> oh. I don't believe it. You've just got the 50 back. So it all rests on this. Very exciting stuff, and I can't help you, OK? Here we go. Here's your clue. <laughs> When you're fighting in the ring, one punch for this, Boxing you'll hear birds sing. Yes, it is! It's fucking love! Look at absolutely everywhere! We watch your lines falling down and everything here. Look high, look low, it could be anywhere. Get stuck in! You're doing very, you're very warm! Casey, you are warm! That's all I can say. Look on everything, look in everything. Could be anywhere. You're the yes! Yes! Yes, Ben says. Ben's voice goes, my voice goes. Your voice goes, woo! Whatever that was, there you go, you get in there. You were looking for a boxing glove, and you got it, and you got the 50 points. Go round there, that's it, jump around there, cos I want to bring the greens in. In you come greens, look at this, me washing lines come down and everything here. <laughs> well, Sarah, what an exciting first competition, eh? What a fantastic game that was. Jeremy, let's know the scores at the end of the room raids. The scores are the green team have 225 points, but the yellows take it with 275 oh, points. Wow. <laughs> Listen, you yellows, you go off that way, get ready to raid the greens. Oh, this is always the sad bit. I don't like doing this bit. <laughs> have you enjoyed yourselves? Yeah, I yeah. have. Did you enjoy Ant and Dak? Yeah, oh, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yes. Listen, no one goes away from finders keepers empty handed. You can't have Ant and Dak, but what can they have, Jeremy? Sarah and Stephen, not only have you won a wonderful watch, calculator, personal organizer, pens, badges, yo yo, sunglasses, t shirts, juggling balls, but also a brand new rucksack, too. In fact, there's yeah, all this and much, much more, all in your very own finders keepers goodie pack. Brilliant, Sarah. Brilliant. Sarah's just was me. Absolutely brill. Potty, Sarah, you were fantastic. Do you want a bit of a laugh? Yeah. All right, then. All right. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's crack ourselves up. Let's see how the yellows got to the super search. Jeremy, tell us all about it. Oh, no, no. Oh, it's not the loo roll, Sarah. She's so eager. Just in time for a sponge down in the shower for Stephen. They were going potty in the bathroom. Best place for it, I say. Don't lie down on the job there, Ben. Oh, some people count sheep, but he's counting robots. Sarah found the dictionary, but was lost for words. After a kiss from Duncan, he and PJ tried to help them here. Ben hijacked the hold holds, beat up the bags and carpeted the carriers, but kept the box clever and took it with a boxing glove. Yeah! Oh, so Super Search this week. Hey, how did you get on with Jeremy's junk? You know, the eight identical objects he placed all around the rooms. Did you spot them? I think I know what they were. Jeremy, what was your junk this week? Whoa! <laughs> Just as I thought, bananas. That's how we play Jeremy's junk. This is how we play the Super Search. Come on. <laughs> Nerves tingling in here. Are you ready for this, Ben? Yeah. Katie? Yeah. Eight rooms up for grabs. You've got four minutes to get round all of them. Hidden in each room is an object. You have got to find the object. I've got the clues. When you find the object, shout out what it says on it. It'll tell you where to go next. I'll be with you every step of the way. The more objects you find, the more rooms you get through, the bigger your prize. If you get all eight, you get the star prize. You ready for it? Yeah. yeah. Good luck. Let's go for it. Here we go. Look sharp with these on your nose. Look sharp with these on your nose. What do you wear on your nose? Yeah! 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 What does 
just show you've won a prize at a flower show, would it? What? what Rosetta! Yeah! Rosetta! Rosetta! <laughs> the downfall of your trousers. Bells! Braces! Bounce! <laughs> hey, watch out for me, little snow storms here. Look at that phone, no snow. Oh, even more snow. Could be anywhere. Now, don't just throw things on the floor if you don't have even looked inside them yet. Braces. Yes, braces! What's the say on them? It says go to the fantasy room. Let's go to the fantasy room. Woo! Right, here we are. Here's your clue. Small, silver and round, packed full of the latest hit sounds. Small, hey. small, silver, round. Record. What, what else do you get? CD. Go, Katie. You're freezing over there, Ben. Freezing. Could be anywhere, Katie. Could be... Now, be careful with me books. Let me prize books. Do not go throwing my books on the floor, Katie. Now, you're miles away. Could be anywhere. Be careful. What are you looking for in a CD? There it is. Go to the kids' bedroom. Go to the kids' bedroom. Let's go to the kids' bedroom. Go. Here's your clue. Is this a book for your PE classes? A book for your PE classes? Wait, lefty, wait, lefty. No, a book for your PE classes. What do you do? Exercises book. What are you looking for in school? You're writing it. Exercise, Exercise book. <laughs> Look out for the Now, where do you write with an exercise book? You write on the desk. That's not the only way. Now, you've got to the study. Go to the study downstairs. Let's go to the study. Go, go, go. This way. This way. Uh, you can tidy it up if you like. That's it. There we go. This sounds like a pad a musician writes on. A pad? Drum. What type of pad? A musician writes on. What do you write on? School. No, no, no. It sounds like a note and no musical note. What type of pad? A notepad. Then play the I just said that. Now, when I'm normally doing my writing, I normally do it. On the carpet, under the carpet, could be absolutely anywhere. Oh, oh, could be under the carpet. Oh, you're looking at it. Yeah. Go to the kitchen, it says it was a notebook. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I've been growing them for years. There we are. This rack will be the toast of the breakfast table. Toast rack? Yeah, right in the room. Super rack. <laughs> When you've cut yourself, could be a bit slacky. What's this? It could be under your face, over there. What about over here? What about under the door behind the door? Where is it? Have a look inside. What's this? Stop. Yeah. Come here. They've done it. They've done it. They were looking for the plasters. They got the plasters. They threw the plasters out there. Jeremy, they got all eight rooms. What do they get? Yes, you'll be travelling in style by Eurotrain through the Channel Tunnel for a three-day break in Paris, France. Yeah. And if that's not enough, you'll have unlimited access to all rides at Euro Disney. Yeah! Oh, they got the star prize, and they got a kiss of Ant and Death. My thanks to Ant and Death. My thanks to you for being here, and to the Yellow Terrors. Tell you what, let's do it all again next week here at our house. Ta-ra for now. <laughs>